Hello there guys and welcome to this Explain 11 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Orbex True Earth Great Britain South for Explain 11. This is package 1 of 3 that are planned for Explain 11. This specific package covers the southern part of Great Britain. There are two other packages covering central and the northern part of the country. This Orbex scenery covers a total area of 42,000 square meters of hand-corrected aerial imagery, 130 million trees at the correct location and height, 13.2 million buildings at the correct location and height, a custom-built autogen specifically developed for x 11, and much, much more. It is my aim in this video to provide you guys with a fair showcase of the new Orbex scenery as well as a few installation tips along the way. Before we begin exploring this package by Orbex, I'd like to share with you guys a few installation tips. Once you have successfully purchased the package, please download it through the FTX Central. Do not attempt to download the individual files available in your account as it might introduce some problems. Um, the download is a huge download, it's about 26 gigs. It will take some time to download, it took me about an hour to download, but there is a conversion process that takes about an hour or so after the download, so be patient. Once the download is complete and the conversion process is in progress, do not turn off your computer and do not interrupt the conversion process, otherwise you might need to uninstall and reinstall the scenery again. Last but not least, there are a few changes that you might need to do to the scenery INI file in the custom scenery folder in order for the scenery to render correctly. In order to make sure that you have the correct entries in your scenery packs.ini file, proceed to your x 11 installation folder, custom scenery, and open your scenery packs.ini file. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the Orbex True Earth entries are listed in this order A, B, and C. Those are the three entries for the Orbex True Earth. Now, if you want your um, payware airports and all other airports to appear, you need to make sure that you place those three entries in order below those airports, otherwise you won't see them. Now, if you want the default airports to also appear, make sure that those three entries are below global airports this file here or this entry here so it needs to be in order it needs to be below all your payware airports and for the default airports to appear uh, the entries need to be below global airports that's it save your file and you're good to go we are currently situated at london city airport this is where we are going to begin our showcase of this Orbex scenery and I have specifically decided to do this from takeoff so that you guys can appreciate the 10 meter mesh that Orbex has developed. So uh, batteries on, let's start the beacon and let's go ahead and start the aircraft here. All right, there we go. And landing lights, nav lights, strobe, Avionics. All right, let's go ahead and take off. All right, parking brake released. And we'll give it full power. Sixty knots. All right, so we are now airborne. And as you can see, the, uh, the Canary Wharf area and the dome is uh, right ahead of us now. And everything looks good, even from this low altitude. Uh, now, as you can see, the photo, um, uh, the aerial imagery uh, is 2D in some places, of course. Uh, now, you can take a look here at the custom autogen, as you can see the house is here. And to our right as well, this is all custom autogen uh, specifically developed for x 11 and I'm not saying that these houses look exactly like the real houses in in that area but they are custom made to look like the houses in England just look at that absolutely beautiful uh, scenery a very convincing very immersive scene uh, really as we depart uh, London City Airport 
a true rendition of the what the area actually looks like in real life. Um, my parents own a property in, in Canary Wharf and I can tell you this looks very very similar to uh, to this area in real life. Let's switch to external view here. As you can see here uh, a very beautiful scene here of uh, the London city area the Canary Wharf area, the dome and the buildings here, HSBC uh, really a phenomenal scenery package developed by Orbex uh, as you can see here all the roads, the streets, the bridges and the car movement uh, looks absolutely gorgeous very very well done very convincing and very high quality again as you can see here there is a stadium lots of points of interest in this package uh, by Orbex very very detailed uh, beautiful placement of the vegetation and the buildings as you can see here um, again a continuation of the beautiful placement of the uh, buildings in real life in, at the correct location by Orbex As you can see here, uh, the scenery looks absolutely stunning, and especially for VFR flyers, you will really have hours of enjoyment flying uh, in this 42,000 square meters of, of beautiful scenery, uh, very well crafted, very well built, and optimized for performance, and we'll, we are going to take a look at performance in a little while. Uh, as you can see, the car uh, movement in the streets here. Uh, very well done the roundabout and the cars actually go um, in, in different locations and kind of circle back uh, very very well done really um, in, in terms of making this as real as possible another thing that I have a lot of appreciation for in this package is how well they've done the water uh, masks and as you can see the blend is absolutely gorgeous very very realistic very well made very sharp and crisp now there is one glitch in the scenery that I sure do hope it will be corrected in due course which is the night lighting now it's not really that bad but if you focus your attention on the dome here during nighttime it's normally pretty lit up and it looks absolutely gorgeous during nighttime but here this is what happens it's completely dark now everything else looks fine, uh, all the other buildings are lit up, but specifically uh, on that Liddy, uh, London City um, Airport area, the, all the buildings, the HSBC and the Dome are pretty lit up during nighttime. Uh, I can't see that here though. Uh, I am by the way using a, the modded lights that I normally use in my videos, and I'm also using the X-Vision uh, plugin with the immersive preset. And this is how uh, you know the lights change. Looks very, very nice indeed. We are now situated at the Southampton area, and what I do want to show you guys is the custom vegetation. If you look at the trees here, uh, the textures, the actual placement of the trees, and the variety of the trees, it looks very, very convincing. Again, spot on, and a job very well done by Orbex. Uh, now, of course, I haven't really um, looked at this area from, from this altitude in real life, but what I've done during the past few days is really consult a lot of um, aerial imagery, uh, satellite aerial imagery, to really um, understand the amount of work and the details that Orbex has put into creating this package. And as you can see, the integration between the Orbex scenery and the immediate airport area is not bad at all. It, I think it meshes well with the surrounding area. It doesn't look out of place. We are now situated at London Heathrow Airport. This particular airport is a payware airport by Aerosoft. And as you can see, there is a difference in the photo imagery here uh, when compared to Orbex. And that's probably due to the fact that it was created during a different time of the year. The photo real imagery was created during a different time of the year, hence the difference here in colors 
We are now looking at Birmingham Airport. This is a payware airport, and surprisingly, it actually works pretty well with this um, Orbex scenery. Uh, it doesn't look out of place at all. In fact, it looks as if it's integrated with this uh, scenery. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of definition here, but nothing too serious. Looks very, very good, and it will really provide a lot of fun for VFR flyers flying in and out of um, these airports uh, in, in this region. We just took off from Cardiff Airport or Cardiff. I was told that this is how the Welsh pronounce it. Guys, correct me if this is incorrect, uh, but Cardiff is uh, how uh, I was told that it is pronounced. Now, this particular area is done very, very well. Uh, I've been to this area many, many times in real life. What I do want to show you guys in this part of the video is how well the aerial imagery is, even at a low altitude. As you can see, the, uh, the aerial imagery is very sharp and crisp here, even at this low altitude. Look at that. Uh, very well done, really, by Orbex. And we can see this side here. Uh, we are at what? Uh, we are at actually less than a thousand feet. Um, so this looks very, very good indeed. This is probably zoom level 17 or maybe in some parts 18, I don't know. Uh, and what you can notice is there is uh, actually no degradation performance. I am gonna show you guys uh, what I mean by that uh, in, in a minute. Uh, and, and this package is really optimized for performance. We're gonna go to one of the you know, um, intense airports, maybe London Heathrow, where we're going to load up one of the, uh, you know, payware aircraft and take a look. But this looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Again, the uh, trees, uh, the buildings, um, everything is, is custom made. Very, very nice indeed. Here, let's take a look uh, um, at things from the external view. There you go. Again. Very low altitude, and everything still looks pretty crisp, pretty sharp. There we go. Very nice indeed. Now, there is a lot of 2D, uh, of course, and I'm not reading the scenery setting at the maximum, so it's one notch down. So you'll probably get a lot more um, buildings and houses if you uh, put the scenery slider on max but this is still very very good indeed in this footage you can see how well orbex has dealt with the water bodies and creating those masks to again create a very realistic look uh, as you can see here it blends very well with the rest of the water bodies here uh, i really have a lot of appreciation what, for what they've done in, in this scenery package and you can tell that hours and hours of very detailed work the the details are just simply insane in this package look at that a very convincing very immersive and very well done uh, scenery package by orbex again if you're a vfr flyer um, i bet you're gonna um, enjoy this uh, scenery package a lot uh, there's a lot to explore uh, in the southern part of the Great Britain and uh, I really can't wait for uh, you know true earth um, central and north um, of, of the series uh, this is really really very well made scenery um, and, and it covers you know a very large area so uh, I think really it is worth uh, the, the price that they've the price tag is, is definitely worth it and by the way, I purchased this package, so I'm under no pressure to say um, anything. This is not an ad for Orbex or anything like that. I've paid the full price uh, for this, and I truly think that this is probably by far the best scenery, payware scenery package built for X-Plane to date. Oh, we're losing power here. Very well done. Uh, can you see the... Uh, Again, you can see here the uh, the buildings uh, and again these are all custom made for x-plane uh, again the, the buildings folks are not exactly what they would look like in real life but they are custom made to to resemble uh, you know the houses in in this part of uh, of the Great Britain 
Uh, again, as you can see here, a very convincing, very beautiful scene, uh, really in in the uh, in this part of the United Kingdom. Let us talk a little bit about performance, and this is something that probably some of you guys may be worried about. I have noticed really no change in performance whatsoever with the Orbex scenery installed. We are back at London Heathrow. I have put this uh, beautiful IXUG737 here at one of the gates at London Heathrow Airport, and we are looking at about 43 frames. Let's go ahead and enter the cockpit. And again, no degradation in performance here whatsoever. If we look at um, our settings here and go to graphics, uh, we can see that um, the graphic card is, uh, you know, it, it's probably at its max here uh, in, in terms of the textures uh, loaded, uh, as I do not use compression at all. Um, so it is probably pushing my GPU to the limit here. Uh, but as you can see, there are no, uh, there is no degradation in performance whatsoever. You know, everything's smooth and, and looking good. Um, I am going to do another test at London City Airport because that area is more dense in terms of the autogen and the buildings, and we're going to do it in another aircraft. So let's go ahead and do that. We are back at London City Airport to assess performance, and I have loaded the Pepistrel Panthera by Aerovas. Now this is a, an involved aircraft uh, due to the fact that it uses 4K textures and therefore it places a very heavy load on the GPU. Uh, so if we look here, uh, again we're looking about, again as you can see the GPU is at its max uh, capacity uh, here with no compression in textures. And what we're going to do is uh, actually we're going to fly the aircraft in the area to see what happens to performance. But so far it looks pretty good on the outside here. We're getting about 42 frames and in the inside facing towards uh, the Canary Wharf area, we're getting about 35 or so frames. So let's go ahead and um, actually start the aircraft and let's close the doors here. And uh, again, as you can see, everything is pretty smooth at the moment. Um, you know, no stuttering or anything like that. Uh, let's see here, um, mixture. Okay, so we're good to go. Let me turn the fuel pump off and landing lights. And we're gonna turn all these lights on. Now notice that we're getting about 32 frames still. And that's very, very good, considering how dense the scenery ahead is. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it power here. Try to keep the aircraft straight. All right, and there we go. Gear is going up. All right, so let's take a look at the frames here. Now, by the way, the weather is going to be a component that will really change how performance uh, is um, because if, if you have very thick layers of clouds flying an aircraft like the Pepistrel Panthera by Aerobas in this dense scenery, um, you know, you will probably get lesser frames. So the weather isn't that bad at the moment. We have a few scattered clouds, uh, but even with that, I think the... Um, Again, now we're, we can see that you know, performance is kind of suffering a little bit here. But I assure you that if you do not, um, if you compress your textures, you will get much better performance. So my GPU is battling very hard now uh, to render the scenes. Um, uh, as you can see, though, uh, there are there's no stuttering whatsoever. Everything's looking pretty crisp and very smooth here as we fly through this really dense area about 20 going back to 25 24 frames again from this side here as you can see it's pretty dense lots of buildings there uh, but still you know um, performance I think it, again has been optimized for for the scenery and it will depend on your specific situation um, but I can vouch for 
how well they've optimized uh, this this package by Orbex. Here, let's take a look at things from the outside. And of course, uh, using the Xvision um, plugin with the immersive preset will also cost uh, a few more FPS. As you can see, though, um, things are pretty smooth, looking very good. Yeah, 35, about 31 frames, between 31 and 35, depending on you know how dense the area is. Uh, we're getting a little bit of stutters there. Nothing too serious, though. We have changed the time to dusk, and as you can see now, uh, performance will begin to suffer a little bit here. Uh, let me just make a turn here. And as you can see now, we're going to about 23 frames, 22 frames. Um, so yes, with, with this particular aircraft, uh, you will probably, uh, you know, get a little bit of degradation in performance as it uses 4K textures. It's, a, it's an involved aircraft uh, from Aerobasque. Uh, with all the night lighting, with X-Vision, uh, you will definitely see some degradation in performance, but overall, the actual Orbex scenery package uh, is optimized very, very well, uh, considering how detailed it is. So far we've been flying low and slow and now we're going to be flying high and fast uh, to really see how the scenery behaves in higher altitudes at faster speeds and as you can see everything's looking pretty good at the moment uh, very nice scenery really by Orbex uh, let's go ahead and switch to external view here and as you can see here the scenery looks absolutely breathtaking um, very large area covered uh, which will uh, definitely make even IFR flights into uh, into the southern parts of Great Britain uh, a real joy. Uh, as you can see here, we're uh, let me take a look here quickly at our altitude. So we're at about 14,000 feet, and we're at about 292 knots, uh, pretty fast. Uh, we need to be at 250, but just look at that scenery. Uh, very detailed, very crisp, and very convincing, and very well made. Look at that. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, again, the way they've done the masks for the uh, water bodies is, uh, is commendable. Uh, disbursement of the vegetation, the trees, it uh, really creates a very convincing scene here. Very, very nice. Well, folks, the Orbex True Earth Great Britain South for X-Plane 11 is without a doubt a significant advancement in the scenery arena for X-Plane 11 thanks to Orbex. In my opinion, this particular scenery package is pr by far the very best created for X-Plane 11. It is the largest uh, scenery package to date and it, in my opinion, it's very well made. Again, folks, I purchase all my payware uh, for both P3D and X-Plane 11 and this is no exception. I have purchased this package at the full price and hence I'm under no pressure to say anything that I don't feel is true about this package. A truly well-made, well worth the price and it will bring hours of enjoyment to your flying experience. If you like flying in this part of the world, if you like to see a lot of green, definitely go and grab this um, scenery package from Orbex. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.